Hey there everyone. In this video, you'll learn two things. Number one is how to create and manage your stat projects. And number two, how to share those stat projects. Now I'll show you the easy ways and I'll also show you the correct ways. Hi, my name is Kushal Singh. I'm from hashtag begin where I make tutorials on Stat Pro and a bunch of other stuff for beginners. So let's dive into it. So once you have uh, installed Stat Pro, you'll find an icon similar to this. Uh, mine is a later version, so you might your icon might look a bit different, but it's the same thing anyways. So once you open a project, I'll just go ahead quickly and create a new project. And I'll just leave the settings as is. I'll just change the file name to say test one. And I'll just go ahead and find the folder on my desktop. So the folder on my desktop is stat files. Uh, if you don't see this right now, I'll just quickly uh, take you to the desktop. And you can see uh, this is a folder I'll be saving my projects in, okay? So I'll just select this folder, hit okay hit next i'm leaving the settings as is and i'll just finish it so this is what the stat pro inside looks like i'll i'll, I'll talk everything in detail in uh, upcoming videos but for now i'll just go ahead and quickly create a small structure i'll just save it by clicking the save button you can of course click the or hit the short key control s I'll just go ahead and save it. Okay. Now let me take you back to the folder. I'll go to the, my desktop and I'll find the stat files. And as you can see, a bunch of files have been created. I created only one file called test one, but related to that, many files have been created. And this is what happens uh, when you create a stat project. A stat project file is uh, accompanied by various extensions like .spk, .cod. In fact, uh, when you'll go ahead and create properties and create load cases, create an analysis, you'll end up having approximately 24, 25 files. Okay. Uh, what I'm getting to is, uh, which was my first part of uh, managing your stat projects. I'll just show you. Uh, another I'll, I'll just create another file and show you what the problem is okay so i'll go ahead and uh, go to the file menu i'll just click on new you can again uh, click the short key uh, control n so i'll call this one sorry test two and the uh, location is selected from the previous uh, selections i made so i'll just uh, go and uh, click next i'll hit finish to create another project and again i'll just create some random structure and i'll save it so now let me take you to the desktop again i'm really sorry i'll just take you to the desktop again and as you can see the test two files have been created but again with many extensions now uh, if you don't know uh, what the correct stat file is this is the one okay anyways i'll talk about it for now you understand that creating just two files have ended up creating 15 items in this folder i imagine having all your stat projects in a single location or in a single folder and you'll end up having hundreds if not thousands of files and it becomes unmanageable after after a bit okay so the tip is create a separate folder for each now uh, there are easy ways of doing it and uh, there are the difficult ones or the obvious ones rather so i'll give you one obvious one so uh, i'll just go to my desktop back again i'll just create a new folder let me call this test three okay now I'll go back to my stat. I'll create a new project again. And this time I'll call it test three. And instead of going to that folder, I'll just click on this folder and click okay. 
hit next, hit finish, and create some random structure. Okay, I'll just go ahead and save it. I'll talk about these uh, uh, short keys and tools, etc., in a later video. For now. Now, once I go to my test tree, you see uh, that all the folder, all the files related to this test tree project are in this folder. Now, this is a good practice and it becomes manageable at the end. But every time to create a folder and then go back to calling it from your browse menu, it's a bit difficult. So instead, uh, there is an easy way. Of course, there is an easy way. So you can just go ahead and create a new project. This time, I'll call this project test now instead of going to desktop and creating a folder called test4 I'll just copy this name go to the desktop and just paste it here now once I hit next you'll see that stat pro gives me a warning that the specified path does not exist do you want to create it and uh, if you have understood this concept what you're actually doing is creating a folder by the name of the file you're creating okay if that makes sense if i go ahead and create it i just finish it and uh, once again i go ahead and create a random structure hit save if i go back to my desktop you will see this folder pre-made so i didn't have to make this uh, folder and then have to call it i could just directly go to the uh, new file menu and copy the name of the file I created. So I'll just show it to you once again very quickly. So instead of creating a new folder first, I just go ahead, copy this name, and instead of the test for, I replace it, hit next, click yes to the warning, click finish, and, and that is all, you know. Just click save, hit save, and you see the folder right there. And now you see all your folders are separate. Each folder has its files related to that project. Okay. This was tip number one. Now I'll I'll show you the tip number two, which is sharing your stat files. So every folder as or every project, as you can see, has several files. Okay. I'll just quickly increase the thumbnail size. But the key file out here, as you must have guessed it right, is the .std extension. This is the file you need to share. This is the file which contains all the input data. Now, you can directly go ahead and mail this file or send this file or copy this and paste it uh, in uh, the Dropbox or whichever way you prefer sharing your files. But this is the file you must be looking for. Now, there is of course another way of doing it which i find much easier i'll talk about the interface later but just quickly i'll take you to this icon if you can see it's a standard editor file okay once you click it open and just wait a little bit okay now suddenly you have an input file. This is the stat editor input file. So instead of going every time and sharing that stat file, what I find a best practice is to just go ahead, click control A to select everything, copy it and open my notepad. I'll just minimize it quickly. So this is the notepad. I'll just go ahead and I'm really sorry. I don't know what was wrong in this, but anyways, I'll just go ahead and copy. I'll go to my notepad again, which is in the background. I'll go ahead and paste it. Okay. So this is the, uh, the entire start project runs on these inputs. Uh, this will increase as your, uh, structure increases and uh, you start putting loads and uh, member properties and so on but this is the file you need to share so if you go ahead and save this file for example on my desktop i'll just go ahead and call it 
say test six share. Okay. Now, all you need to do is send this file test six share dot text to anyone who needs your stat file. Okay. How to open it? Again, it's very easy. You just go ahead and create a new file in your computer. Okay. I'll just quickly call it test six and I'll copy the file name, paste the file name, click next, click yes, click finish. Okay. And instead of creating a structure this time, I'll go to the stat editor. Go to my stat editor and I'll go back to my text six share.txt file. I'll just copy everything by clicking copy. Go back to my stat file, go back to the stat input file or the sad editor file. Wait for a moment. That was long, and I'll just replace everything with my new file. I'll click, go to file and click save and I'll just close it. And my file is made, okay? So these are the two tips. Number one, manage your project. Every project should have a different folder. Point number two, if you need to share files, just copy the entire input file from the stat editor, paste it to a notepad file and share that notepad file. Thank you. Uh, if you have some better tips and tricks, please share it in the comment below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to our channel and I'll keep these videos coming. Thank you. Bye-bye.